And stopping. There we go. All right. Here we go. Ethan, Rachel, and Mila, and Lily. Mm. Here's Lily. All right, I see Lily. The sound is connecting. All right. Can you hear me, Lily? Yeah? yeah. Are you awake? Are you awake yeah. today? No, yes. you're not awake. <laughs> How are you doing? You doing good? Yeah. Yeah. How's your, the... how's your weather out there? Who's this? Me. It's sunny. It's sunny. It's sunny. You're lucky. You got sunny. I've got a little bit of cloudy weather by me. I think it was starting to rain. Who's this coming it's here? Sunny. Ariel and Mila. Saisha, there's Mila. Hi. And Saisha's at her red table. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Mila. Good morning. Good morning. Look at this. It's a pencil. Awesome. Ariel's drinking a juice box. Uh, Who's this? It is, it's just not a pen on it, guys. Sasha, Mila, Lily, is that everybody? Ethan, Ariel, Sasha, is drinking a juice box too. Mila's right there, and Lily. Everybody's here. All right. Everybody's here. How's everybody doing today? Good? How's your weather? Mila, you got sunshine today by you? Yeah. Yeah, I see sun coming in your window. Wow. Ethan, too. I like the backyard. The backyard? Sounds good. I got cloudy weather by me today. Okay. All right, friends. Today, we're talking more about spring. So our project today is the bird craft. And I also gave you a paper with butterfly. So for today's project, you need a yellow piece of paper. And this is in your kit that I mailed you. Yellow paper. And then you, uh, and there's oh, what's that? Oh, that, that's cute. And there's a green strip of paper. What is this? Yes, it's a duck mm -hmm. And then you're gonna need your there's these, these are the cupcake wrappers. We're gonna, there's a, an orange one and a light brown one. And we're gonna make a bird. And then there was two sticker eyes. And you're gonna need glue. I have my glue sticks. And then Lily's got her box of crayons and markers by her. Don't you, Lily? Put your markers and crayons by you? Who else has markers and crayons by them? 
Ariel's to drink in a juice box. Those are good, Ariel. I like those. All right, friends. And then I also sent you this paper with the butterfly. So we're going to read a story about the, the caterpillar and the butterfly today. Very good, Sasha. Sasha's got her picture in front of her. All right. Mila, did you get this picture? The butterfly and the caterpillar? No. You don't have this one? Yeah. Lily does. Lily has it. Ariel, how about you? Do you have any of your stuff nearby you? Okay. All right, we're going to say hello to everybody. The first day was Lily. Lily was the first to arrive on the screen today. All right. Can everyone sing for our friend Lily? There is a friend who's here today, and Lily is her name. I call her L-I-L-Y. L I L Y. I'm happy Lily's here today. Number two on the screen was Mila. There is a friend who's here today. And Mila is her name. M I L A. M I L A. M I L A. We're happy Mila's here today. Number three on the screen was Sasha. There is a friend who's here today, and Sasha is her name. S-A-I-K-S-A-I-K-H-A-S-A-I. S-A-I-K-H-A, we're glad it's Sasha's here today. Four was Ariel. There is a friend who's here today. Ariel is her name. A-R-I-E-L. 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 We're happy Ariel's here today. And number five was Ethan. There is a friend who's here today, and Ethan is his name. Oh, E T H A N E T H A N E T H A N. We're happy Ethan's here today. All right, guys. Hey, you know what, everybody? My friend Sasha sent me a picture of her craft that she did. She completed. So if you ever want to send Miss Julie a picture of your hard work, I would love to see it. Sasha. Show me a picture of her wind side she made. It's very nice, Saisha. You hung it up outside? You did a great job, Saisha. All right, guys. We are talking about spring. So I have my blue marker, and I have to ask you guys all a question, okay? So in the spring, there are lots of bugs, insects, flies. Anybody want to tell me anything about the butterfly? Does anyone know anything about the butterfly? Mila, do you know anything about butterflies? Stickers. Yeah, we're gonna do stickers on the on the bird project. Yeah. Um, no, do you know anything about the butterfly? Does anyone know where a butterfly comes from? Okay. Sasha, do you know anything about butterflies? Yeah, they fly. Does anybody know where the butterfly comes from? And even no. the one, and even the, and the butterfly to, to Ariel. Do you know where the butterfly comes from? Where the butterfly come from? Do you know anything about butterflies? Yes, I see you're looking at the picture. That's great. I'm glad I gave everybody the picture of the butterfly. All right, Miss Julie is going to share her story then, and then maybe we'll remember things about the butter uh, butterfly. Alright. Everyone listen to the story because we all need I can hear you in the board. Oh, Ariel likes the story. She's excited. Okay. This is one of my favorites too. So I'm gonna share it with everybody. This is called the very hungry caterpillar. So we're gonna learn about the caterpillar. And maybe there'll be a butterfly. Okay. So everyone pay attention. This is how the story goes. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. 
Does anyone see the egg? There it is, the white bat. The white bat the is the egg. The caterpillar. Yes, Ariel. So the first thing is, is an egg. Okay, so it starts with an egg. I want that caterpillar. I miss it. Okay, let's see what happens to the egg. Oh, there's the sun. One Sunday morning, pop out of the egg came a very tiny and hungry caterpillar. There he is. Look how small he is. He came out of the egg. So first was the egg, then number two, second was the caterpillar. He came out of the egg. Let's see what he does. He's hungry. He started to look for food. On Monday, that was yesterday, he one red apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, that is today, he ate through two green bears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three bluish purple plums, but he was still hungry. Oh, why did he eat so much? On Thursday, he ate through four red strawberries, but he was still hungry. What's after Thursday? Friday. Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. He eats a lot, doesn't he? This is for a little tiny caterpillar. On Saturday, he went to a picnic. Look at all the food he ate. One piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Oh boy. That night, he felt so sick. He had a stomach ache. Uh-oh, too much food. The next day was Sunday. He ate through one green leaf and felt much better. But guess what? He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. Oh my! I know, Ariel. What happened to him? And then he built a house around himself called a cocoon or chrysalis. You guys see that? Say cocoon or chrysalis. Very good, Lily. You're listening. And he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Two weeks he stayed in his little home, okay? And then when he was done resting in his home. Uncle, I got coconut in there. Oh, I like that one. He nibbled his way out and he was a beautiful, what do you think he was? A coconut. Oh, he became a butterfly. He became a butterfly. Okay, so friends, first, he starts out as an egg on the leaf. There's the egg. Then he pops out and he's a caterpillar. Caterpillar. Then he builds himself the cocoon and stays inside for more than two weeks. There he is in the cocoon and he nibbles a hole and he becomes a beautiful butterfly. That's exciting. All right, so everybody take a picture. Lily's got hers already, I see it. Aisha, you're doing awesome. It's time to work with a picture. All right, friends, Ariel, great work. Ariel, you love using your fingers, friends, so we're gonna cut the circles at the bottom. We're gonna cut the circles at the bottom. And we're going to put them on the circles on the cycle of the butterfly. So, Lily, you have scissors? Mama, you use your scissors? Sasha, you have your scissors? I know Ariel does. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to cut all the circles at the bottom out. I'm going to 
show you guys. I'm gonna turn my camera down for a minute. There's a line. You can cut across the line on the bottom. Then we're gonna. There we go. Now, Miss Julie will show you. We're gonna cut out the circles. So where are we gonna start first? It starts out as an egg on a leaf. So this one actually has three eggs. Three eggs. Three caterpillar eggs. Okay. How are you doing there, Ethan? Are you going to cut with us, Ethan? Ariel's doing it. Sasha's coloring. Sasha, go get your scissors from your mother. Sasha's cutting. Who has my scissors, Sasha? My mom is taking it. Okay, girls. Okay, the first one is the eggs on the leaf, friends. The first one is the eggs on the leaf. The eggs. Ariel's doing awesome. Very good, Billy. So we're going to put it on the one that says eggs on the paper. E G G S. I'm going to hold mine up and show you, girls, boys and girls. Well, it says eggs, and that's where we put the one with the, the caterpillar eggs. And then number two is going to be Three. the caterpillar. He's going to pop out of the eggs, and he's going to become a caterpillar. So find the one that looks, the picture that looks like the caterpillar. Not this, not this one. This one is a caterpillar. How's Ethan going? Ethan, you doing a good job? Ethan, you practicing your scissors? Because you are going into school. I'm going to have you cut with scissors in your, inside your school. Mila, show everybody how you can do it, your, your project and listen. I think you're the oldest one, Mila. Okay, so this is Caterpillar. Okay, friends? Hold on, where did my screen go? I don't see anybody. Hold on, girlfriends. Oh, there we are. All right. Lily's doing great. I'm going to hold my up and show everybody. Somebody's sad. Stretching, Ethan? Can you stretch in? Sasha, where's your paper? Yeah. Oh, you have an assistant. Sasha has an assistant. Okay. Good job, Ariel. Concentrate. All right, where's my other circles? I got my butterfly and my chrysalis. Oh. And okay, my butterfly and my chrysalis left. Mila, are you paying attention? Mila, you have your scissors? How's Ethan doing? How's Ethan doing? Asha has some help going on. She's going to glue hers on. All right, so after the caterpillar, he becomes this. He goes in his little cocoon They're called the chrysalis. The chrysalis. And he stays inside for more than two weeks. Wait for her to show All right, so I'm going to glue it onto my paper. Cut it. Cut it out? Good job, Ariel. Are you gluing it, Ariel? Are you still cutting? You're doing a good job? Oh, she loves her cutting. Maybe you can do more cutting in a little bit, Ariel. You're done cutting all your cutting. Oh, I'm sorry. Mila, how you doing, Mila? All right, the last one you put on your paper is the butterfly, friends. The last one is the butterfly. Here's how it looks on the paper when you cut them out. How's everybody's looking? Good. Good. Good job. Good job, Good job, Yay. Good job, man. Can you cut that one off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Look at Lily's. This is awesome. Great job. You can add some color to it if you want, or you don't have to.
But when we always do our work, we always practice our name. Oh, great. You need to write your name. Put your so, name even if it's just the first letter, let's work on our name. I'm going to use a marker. Oh, she's got a blue. What do I have? Do I have a black? Do I have a black so you guys can see it? Oh, here's brown. I'll use brown. All right. So, you can always start with a big letter. So, L for Lily. Big L for Lily. Big S for Saisha. Big A for Ariel. Big M for Mila. Big E for Ethan. So, the letter name at the top. Make sure you one big letter and the rest small letters. Mila, you gluing final? Oh, you got scissors now. All right, Mila, good job. All oh, her purple scissors, great. And Sasha's gluing, and Ethan is still working hard. Lily's writing. Oh, uh, Ariel's gluing with a glue stick. Good job, Ariel. All right, so. I want everyone, once they're done gluing, oh, Mila, I can't hear you. Mila, you have to unmute if you want to tell me something. Mila, I'd love to hear you, but I can't hear you right now. Unmute. Hello. Hello. What did you have to say? Now you can't hear me. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Show me your paper. How are you doing? Very, look at Lily wrote her L-I-L-Y on her paper. She did a bunch of L's. Good work. I took out this. Okay, awesome. But you gotta glue it on your paper, Mila. You did good cutting. Sasha's gluing. She's almost done. Ariel's almost done. Okay, guys. Great work. Goodbye. No, no not goodbye. <laughs> yeah, you're just, we're not done yet. <laughs> Okay, so while they finish theirs, we will talk a little bit about, um, we'll do a little bit of numbers right now, and then we will go on to our bird. Okay, so everyone can finish, but Lily, you can answer my question because you're done with yours already. You did an awesome job. All right, so in the springtime, and actually right now, I have a nest a bird nest above my door and the birds are coming to the nest and they are going to lay their eggs in the springtime so it's going to be very exciting i saw them flying off this morning and they're adding leaves to the nest so i'm going to draw some eggs on my board here and we're going to do some counting practice and that way we get super smart Okay, so I'm gonna draw some eggs. I love this. What shape is an egg? Does anyone know the shape of an egg? Is it a triangle? No. Is, this a triangle? is it a star? No. What shape is it? A, uh, a circle. Kind of oval. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna draw an oval. I'm gonna draw some ovals on here. We're gonna count them together. If you want to do it on your paper too, Lily, you can. Use one of your colors, Lily. You got lots of colors. Caterpillar. Okay, I'm gonna draw ovals. Oval and count them with the teacher. You don't like caterpillar? Yours looks good, Mila. You're doing a good job. Okay. Very good, Sasha. Very good. Okay, Lily, let's count how many ovals okay, I did. <clears throat> Can you see my ovals, Lily? I don't know. Okay. Sasha, how many ovals do we have on my board here? One, two, three, four, five. Ovals. Lily, draw five ovals. You can do that. Good. Yeah. All right, I'm going to make a number five on the paper. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You make five of them. So you make two. Look, I have five ovals on mine, Ariel. 
。没问题啊，像是这样子就好。Bye. And guess what? I took two of these ovals away. Two eggs went away. And how many ovals do I have left? Can you show her? Sure. I would love to see it. You just oh look at the ovals, great work, good practice. Okay, I had my five ovals, Lily, and I took two ovals away. How many do I have left on my board? Three. Very good. That was super fast. Awesome. High five all the way to Lily. Three ovals left. Maybe two of the eggs cracked. I don't know, but there's three ovals left. I had five, but now I have three. Let's do a new number. I'm gonna write a number. I'm gonna do a big number. Let me see if you guys know all the numbers. Number ten, Mila. Number ten. Yes, Miss Dewey. I'm right here, Mila. Number ten. Number ten. Okay, Saisha, where's your crayon marker? Okay, number ten. I'm gonna have ten ovals. Ariel, do you have your crayon marker? Okay, I'm gonna do ten ovals. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, ten. I am gonna take five ovals away. I'm gonna take five of them. One, two, three, four, five. I had ten ovals, and I'm taking five away. How many ovals do you see? How many ovals do you see, Ariel? Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop at five. One, two, three, four, five. Ovals are left. Five eggs are left in the bird nest. I had ten, and I took five of them away. There's five ovals left. Five are left in the bird's nest. How about seven? Can you write a number seven? Sasha, you writing numbers on yours? Great work. Uh, so, seven. There's number seven, Ariel. Seven. Seven. You have a marker, Ariel? Where's your marker board? You can write the number with me if you have your marker board. There you get it. You have it. Okay, let's do seven eggs. Seven ovals. Seven eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good counting. I heard you. Look at those clouds. I see. Those are the clouds. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> And I'm gonna take one away. I'm just gonna take one away. Well, yeah. Bridge is here. Well, yeah. I'm gonna take one away. Mila, how many ovals are up on the screen? Do you see? No, nope, I took one away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ovals are left. Good job, Lily. You're listening. Six ovals are left. Very good, Sasha. Did you write? Did you draw any ovals, Sasha, on the back? We're doing some counting practice. 
All right, guys. Good job listening. All right. Can anyone tell me any animals that come out of the egg just like a caterpillar? Do you know any animals that come out of an egg just like a caterpillar? Oh, I heard bush. Okay, I heard chicken. I heard who said dinosaurs? Somebody said dinosaurs. That was right. Dinosaurs did come out of eggs long, long ago. Good job, Lily. Lily, did you know an animal that comes out of an egg? Do you know any animals that come out of eggs, Lily? Okay. So, what about the birds? We were talking about the eggs. The birds come out of the eggs in the nest. So, we're going to do our bird craft now, friends. Because we were already counting eggs. Now the birds are going to hatch from the eggs. So, you're going to need your yellow paper. Yellow paper. Yeah. Yellow paper. 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 Yellow the green paper. Green paper is the grass for the birds. Here's what the picture's gonna look like. Two little birds looking for worms in the grass. So you can snip the green paper with your scissors and make it look like grass. Can you see, Ariel, where's your, your scissors you were using? You can, you can snip the green paper to look like grass. And then we will make the birds. And yeah, see Lily, are you walking around? She's just cutting little snips to make it look like grass. Ariel, let's see you do some work. I know you can do it. It is. Tricia, how are you doing? That's fine. That's See, I'm cutting little snips to make it look like grass. I am going to put this on my yellow paper. Oh, yes. Good job. Ariel's doing a great work. Okay. I'm going to glue my green oh, paper down to my yellow one. Okay, I'm going to point the camera down and show you. Ariel, Billy's already doing that. Taisha, do you need help? Mila, are you, are you doing the project with us? Mila, I need help. the bird project. Let's see. Mila, you need your yellow paper and your green paper, and we're doing more cutting there with the green grass. Look at the picture. You see, it looks like that, right? Yeah, I'll take it. Can you push it down with your fingers onto the yellow paper, Lily? Push it down. And Ariel, you're doing, you got a helper, Ariel. Yeah, Ariel's got a helper. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to my paper now my green grass down and then you got to glue the birds on too friends the birds are these little things you would put for cupcakes but mine's orange light orange i'm gonna fold it in half and then i got a brown a little pan one too a small little one look watch the teacher hey we're gonna hold on lily get off Take the orange circle and we're gonna fold it in half. And it turns into this shape. Looks like an orange slice. 
No, wait. It looks like an orange slice, friends, but it's going to be the bird. And then we're going to glue it onto our paper with the belly side down. With the belly side down. Let's not the belly side down. And Mi Mila's cutting great. Mila, thank you for And Ariel, you've been cutting. Here's the other one. Here's the circle. And we're going to fold it in half. And we're going to make this shape. This shape looks kind of like an orange slice. If you cut an orange into pieces, this is the shape. There we go. Now we're going to put it on our paper. See, I have one. I put the orange one on. I'm going to put the light brown one or tan color one on my paper. Hi, Scott. How are you doing, Ethan? You doing okay, Ethan? All right, so those are the bird bodies. Okay. Yeah. Now, I ha you had two little stickers that look like this. Wow, they look like eyeballs, little eyeballs. Mine are yellow and red. And we're gonna put it on the bird. One on this one, one on this one. Let me show you up close. There's how it looks so far. The, gl the green is on the bottom. And I put the eyes here. And I put the cup, the bird bodies there. And now we're gonna use our crayons or our markers to draw legs. You can use whatever color you want. I'm gonna use brown or orange. I'm gonna make a triangle beak and I'm going to make bird legs on my bird. Let me show you. I'm just drawing straight lines down from the bird's body. Two little legs. Body. This is the first body. Two little legs. And legs. Needs to stand up. They're gonna go looking for their breakfast. There's the birds, like that. Well, it's a two legs, not three. You make an eyeball. How's it going, Mila? You're being Ariel's doing good. Great. Okay, now I'm gonna make a, a beak on the bird so he can pick the ground and look for worms. I'm gonna yeah. use my orange. I'm gonna use my orange. And I'm gonna make a triangle. That's right. A triangle. A triangle. Can you color the mouth orange? You can make it whatever color you want. I want the orange. Yeah, you're doing good, Sasha. You're doing good, Sasha. Ariel, you, did you glue everything? So, teacher. Let me see your work. Oh, yeah. You don't want to show me your work? Triangle? Or a sunshine? You want to make a sunshine in the sky? Oh, yeah, make a sun. Oh, sun up here. I'm gonna draw sunshine on my page, stunning on my birds. Does it look right? Does this picture look right? It looks beautiful. I love it. You're doing a great job. Saisha's blooming. Great job, Saisha. This not look great. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, now, what do the birds eat? Anyone know what birds eat? They eat. Can. Okay. Worms. Can you draw some worms on the grass? Some squiggly little lines? Some worms in the grass? There's, there's this. Worms. Birds like to look in the dirt for worms. Squiggly lines. Yeah, wiggly line. Good description. A squiggly line. Look, one of my birds caught a worm. He's got it by his beak. 
He got one for his breakfast. Wiggly. Yeah, wiggly line. Wiggly. Ariel's looking at mine. I don't know why I broke. No, it's okay. I don't either, Ariel. I don't like them either, Ariel. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay Ariel. You don't have to like them. I like butterflies. Ariel, you like butterflies? Well, let's put some worms down in the dirt for the birds to find. And then they'll be happy and they'll have breakfast. Oh. Okay, guys, we're going to be out of time. So, Miss Julia, I want to see your pictures. Everyone can send Miss Julia a message with how their pictures turned out. Okay. And then, oh, Ethan, awesome job, Ethan. You're so sneaky. You did awesome, Ethan. Okay, guys, so I want you to, when you, if you go outside, look for more signs of spring. Look for birds and butterflies, caterpillars. Remember, they start out as a little egg on a leaf. And then maybe you'll see butterflies appear soon. And maybe you'll find birds in a bird nest. Good job, Mila.